become an urgent and moral imperative to go beyond our normal scope of work to a more integrated and collaborative approach to dealing with the scourge of violence unleashed by jihadists and violent extremists and armed groups. One of the expectations of this conference is to achieve a common understanding of the threats that confront us and synergize a multifaceted approach to resolving them. For the last several months, we've spent considerable time and energy understanding the threats. First, we had a Sahel Senior Analyst Forum in Dakar, Senegal, that had robust discussions and produced the first ever collaborative threat assessment. And a few weeks ago, we engaged in very productive uh, discussions at the Lake Chad Regional Conference in Niamey, Niger, where all participating, con uh, all participating countries and delegations talked about improving intelligence sharing, improving air-to-ground integration, coordination at the CCL, and deconflicting operations, as well as making an investment in military intelligence training. And I thank AFRICOM and the Ghana Armed Forces for convening this conference to discuss our shared interests in regional peace and security. I wish you a productive conference. Medase, merci, shukran, thank you. It will be pertinent also for us to deliberate on ways of improving the effectiveness of our peace support operations, especially in countries like Somalia, Mali, Chad, Burkina Faso, and other Sahel regions. That is why I must commend the heads of states of the ECOWAS countries for committing to contribute one billion United States dollars to help the fight against terrorism and violent extremism. And wish all of you a great two-day open and frank discussion on the theme, intelligence, support to combating regional threats. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, I have the singular honor to declare the first West Africa, North Africa Directors of Military Intelligence Conference 2019 officially opened. Thank you, and may God bless us all.